غدنك خيتا خب يقاري رابلة كل فرجانة تخرس تقال تخيادة بأرخة دا تكنولوجي دي يوما دي زوم بغزاية وقت مصاية وخاوخ من دي كان بريش بريش وأطروات بريش بريش أم أوضالة بين أرشي قد بخاي قارر بيورة قبل أن الأرخيني كل من قد هدية جو ده سكرين إيه وخم أوضالة قد عنهم يقرأوا هرمس إخوة من نوخن خاتم سوزي قبل أخي وقبشينا يقرأ رابا يورا القديني قد إلى أي أدفايزر يقدرها جميتها وإلى وهربينا أنت أرخت إقارة وأرخا وغبة وخورا أزيزة هربينا أنت إياكو مواز من أطرة إسرائيل مديتة أورشلم خورا أزيزة قبل أخي وقرابا بشينا یاکو بداین بلکه خخه جهایی لام پرلم بی لعظه یا قناعتی هم زمت و آخر رابا یپارم خال هم زمت دیو اینا بده هم زم مخبی انگلیش و بیلیشانا آتورایا و خرتنی خانی خامن نخبلی فخ قبلیشانا هودایا و بده هم زم مختلط لیشانه قبل آخریم شنا و خاطر رابا گفت ولی قدیانی دکتر Uh, Yaakov, I would like to welcome you on our program, AUA Australia radio program. It gives, it gives me a great honor. Once again, this is your second time. First time, you were only by phone uh, without seeing you, your beautiful uh, photo there. Uh, but uh, thanks to today's technology through the Zoom and Facebook, we managed to have you actually uh, live. Um, welcome to our program. Thank you very much. Shalom, shlamam in Jerusalem. You know, I must tell you that uh, it is a real celebration to see uh, the three of you, you know, in one time. I'm so appreciating you. Um, you know what's happened since the time that we met in Jerusalem? I felt we are becoming a family, really. <laughs> Thank you. And I'm, I'm, I'm eager to hear you every time and Thank to you. see you as well. And hopefully we'll see each other uh, uh, very soon, uh, right after this corona uh, will pass uh, soon, I hope, I hope. So, Shlama Elohun, Rabbi Hermes Shaheen, Yakarta, Susie David, and you, the king, <laughs> David David. <laughs> Thank you, Basim Mal Mal Malka David. Malka David. بسی مرابا، بسی مرابا. دکتر، اختری با این امر ادیوم بتهای. Today will be three of us actually. As you know, this is very important interview. The subject, the main subject, is actually the Syrian embassy. But today, it gives me an honor to have Mr. Shaheen with me as Deputy Secretary General of the Syrian Embassy Alliance, and also Ms. Susie David. She is actually. AUA uh, advisor and very well known in our community and of course uh, you met her actually in uh, Jerusalem uh, late last year uh, so we will be actually uh, you know like uh, at the same time we will join questioning you uh, but mostly we would love to hear from you uh, the progress of the uh, Assyrian embassy um, so hopefully hopefully uh, that uh, it will be a great uh, meeting, but uh, can I just give this opportunity to Mr. Hermes Shaheen and then to Susie David also to welcome you uh, to our program. Mr. Shaheen? بدنا نشلام الخاتم لم يقرت سوزي ورهادك الدكتور ياكوب شلاما ورابح بغداية قد بتفاقد بيوخ Welcome to our program tonight It's always an honor to, and pleasure to have uh, such a great friend of the Assyrian cause on our program uh, We are very proud of your work and uh, your struggle to achieve the goals of reviving the Assyrian Aramaic language and building bridges between Ashur and Israel. Thank you and welcome to our program. 
‫אחד סוזי דיוויד, ‫אם בס מלך אופטי, ‫מוסי טוואר, ‫חשלמה אל אחונה, דוקטור יעל. ‫שלום, שלמה. ‫שלום, שלום. ‫שלום, שלמה על כל פרג'ן דה חורזה, ‫ופרישאית על אחוני, ‫יחד לדוקטור יעקב מעוז. ‫אתה יודע, ‫אז כשאנחנו חזרנו מישראל, ‫כמו כל דבר אחר, ‫אתה חושב, Well, this was all very sensational and it was so perfectly organized and there was so much emotion and there was so much happening. But sometimes from these functions and from these arrangements, you walk away and things die down. But one thing I've realized about you is that you've actually been going stronger than ever. And I watch you and I see your deliveries, your postings, um, your... lobbying it's just never ending and for that i can only say i'm forever thankful as an assyrian but we'll get into the main subject shortly thank you so much and we miss you a lot a lot and we miss jerusalem a lot you have a, an opportunity to come very soon well corona yeah. has stopped us but we definitely intend to we will defeat the corona <laughs> as well as as well as your enemy your yes. your other enemies <laughs> yes yeah good um Robert's why uh yeah well, I, i would like just to say a few words in Syrian because um possibly in between of our interview uh, i i had to sometimes speak in Syrian because we are having a Syrian from russia and Syrians from part of the europe which is sweden Germany and other parts which is they don't really use much English and especially for the newly arrived Assyrians um, you know uh, from Middle East and also I can see uh, on Facebook we have people from Urmi uh, from uh, back home wow. uh, from so many uh, different countries you know so uh, we need to speak sometimes in Assyrian and let them know what the subject is and what we are talking about it's important perjane mughib shaman li tum bishman al khurz al ta'ad qiyada al bat bilan ka arhan mughib dr yaqub shena min atrat israeli li urushlam bi urkhda facebook msaya wa khawaf mu dalib bain madin no khon qat khagif to chatunut khat ma khabrane bit hamzun ma khatcha bilishana atraya ina bit ha bilishana ingisna ina من كل خدشه وخدشه بتمضي يخلو خون صب الضاين رابا منو خون او اخونا ببغزاين وخينا من ارمي ومن مدن خبقانو ومن لبنان ومن سوريا ومن قربية اطرد او حاتن وبغزان ومن روسيا وارمينيا وعين جيبانا قد شاتني لأدنى لشان واني دينتي خاتشي الاستراليا بتهم زمخ بلشان ديقانا نجي اينا انقيتا لقاء قارد ارخي من مجيخ يمن اكلو جاتنو تا يار همزمي بي انجلس يارد بداها لشانا همزمخ بوبي بقاري قا كلو خن رابلي وهاي تن باسي مي كلو خن ما خن جي دي تنوير بشمايا خوبي بقاري ومن جيب قالت خيادة بمعنى قداق خيتا هاي تن باسي من قا كومن جدي يوخن قا كتو يتوخن ان اتلو خن خا فصل بقارة من ياخو ما سيتن كفيتني لقدي انا جربن عيني هو يجي وبال الكومنج دي يوخن قد بلكت ماصر خجم من كومنج بقرخلو دكتور ياكو رابس فايف ول ميقرا هرمس خاتن سوزي انا خشون توبيك الى السيريان امبسي انبيت ميقرا هرمس بقرا مثل اتي قدي وخرفة اورقي قاوة قد كما دكتور ياكو فلاخي وال Uh, Assyrian Embassy. Uh, Aha Assyrian Embassy, Halikya Lambita, or Halikya Lakhishta, or Mumasa Madi Lambadiyo, I get a little bit of a little bit of a little bit. Well, uh, if we start uh, asking about the Assyrian Embassy, um, Dr. Yako, as you know, um, there is an uh, international uh, Christian Embassy in Jerusalem that was established in 1980. Uh, well, it was established uh, to become an active voice of uh, reconciliation between Jewish, Christians, and Arabs. 
do you by any chance have any knowledge how effective this embassy was in achieving its aims and uh, would the proposed move to establish the Assyrian embassy in Jerusalem be able to attract attention to the Assyrian cause? Please explain to our audience. Okay, thank you. As just before, by story, بس بخلت على ماسن أمنا كله وين بزدايا أوزين عربا دخكم غي غلط 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 إيه جا بخلت من كله well your question is so right I must admit at the very beginning that that was the in, in my mind when I uh, created the uh, idea of the Assyrian embassy, okay? Uh, something very significant happened since this um, um, embassy, Christian embassy uh, as established in Jerusalem, we get closer and closer to the Christian world. As you all know, we have a pretty bad history with Christianity. I don't want to expand too much this uh, uh, talk, but uh, the average Jew is very scared from Christians. So uh, so something needed to to happen. And the first thing that this uh, uh, Christian embassy showed to us, to the Israeli public, that Christians are loving Israel, supporting Israel, stand by Israel, and help Israel to fight the enemies, okay? As you surely know, Israel is a very uh, tiny country in an ocean of uh, Arabs and uh, Muslims in the uh, Middle East, okay? So we need friends. We need friends everywhere in the world. In the Western world, we need friends that are fighting the trend of boycotting Israel, the BDS, okay? And to support us in the international bodies that, you know, in general, automatically they are against us. So approaching the uh, Christian uh, world is a pretty good idea and it helps us very much. So what I like to do is like to copy this success into the relation between uh, Israel and Ashur. And um, I'm really believe that it would success and we can make a huge step forward in um, uh, restoring our relations since we left uh, the land of Asho in the year of 51 we can restore the relation and we can build a better future to both of the nations thank you Susie. Mm -hmm. Just on the Assyrian embassy, um, what, what is the reaction generally, not just of Yahoo Maos, but of the Israeli community, um, whether they be the uh, Assyrian Jews um, or whether they be other Israelis, what would be what is the response that you're receiving towards that concept, towards that project? Well, we have a, a whole spectrum of reactions to this idea. Let's start by the good reactions. <laughs> if you remember, when I uh, was standing on the stage in the conference in Jerusalem, and I declared 
in Hebrew, <clears throat> but I'm going to open the uh, Assyrian embassy in the year 2020. I'm so naive, but, <laughs> and, and they all applause to me. They're all Israelis, okay? They love this idea. And we have it in, in video. We can see it. So I have many supporters, but I need to spend much time to explain uh, to the Israelis what does it mean a Syrian embassy while I'm not officially in Israel, I'm, I have, I'm not representing uh, the state of Israel, I'm a private man, okay? So I told them, we are speaking about a cultural house aiming to restore the relationship between uh, uh, Israel and the Ashur, to preserve our language and, and culture, okay? And to play a little bit on the international arena. So there are few people that are telling me that it's like a fantasy. It never will be done, okay? One of them just tell, told me, I'm waiting for the invitation, cynically, okay? You know, when I'm, get, when I'm getting a negative response, it fueled me more and more. You know, it's helped me to be more enthusiastic and to achieve the, the target. You've certainly achieved a lot in the awareness that you've brought to hundreds of thousands of Assyrian Jews in Israel. So my question is, um, you've, you've spent many, many years in bringing awareness to hundreds of thousands of people in Israel who have now come to the realization that they are from the land of Ashur. you have now diversed into bringing realization of the importance of an Assyrian embassy. What do you, what do you stand to achieve from this idea, from this concept? Well, I have a, a plan, a very systematically, uh, uh, systematical uh, plan. The first goal is to uh, let the Israeli public to know that there is an entity called Ashro. As I told you before, in many other occasions, for the average Israeli, Ashro belongs only to the Bible. Mm -hmm. Nobody knew that there is an entity, such entity, okay? So what I'm trying to do is work very hard on the Israeli conscious through uh, social media and through uh, you know uh, electronic media, um, I have an access to, uh, to the Israeli media, so I can um, you know sell my ideas um, easily, relatively. This is one. The other one is to revive this culture through this cultural uh, house and to start uh, creating a, a new culture. I told you before, many times we, when we have weddings, we are singing the Kurdish uh, songs that we're not able to understand. This is not our culture. So what I'm trying to do in, in this uh, context is to match between an um, Israeli artist and a Syrian artist. In, in those days, we are working on a new creation between two singers that you already know, I think. One is Liat that uh, emerged in, in, in the conference, Liat Itzhaki, mm -hmm. and the other is Madeleine Ishueva from uh, Moscow, amazing uh, singer. And it, it, this would be the, the first international creation of Ashur and Israel. And it's going to be a, 
a real uh, thing, okay? So this is in the um, cultural aspect. Now, the other thing is to uh, start to convince the Israeli political system um, in order to recognize the Assyrian nation, first to recognize the Assyrian genocide. This is our moral duty as Jews to recognize your um, um, genocide, okay? And the, the third is to convince the government of Israel to change the approach to the Assyrian issue. First, to, um, to use the influence that we have on the American administration. And second, to use our influence on the KRG in your land. I think we are the only that have the real power to, to, to press the KRG in order to first to ease your life in your land and second to evacuate a land, a piece of land to you, okay? So I truly believe that we can do it through Israel. Otherwise, I would never uh, spend so much time and energies day and night, okay, in this issue. And I must tell you, uh, dear Susie, that it, it is a huge privilege to me. I thank God every day that gave me this opportunity to be an assistant, or if you like, a servant of this nation, this wonderful nation. So I, I like to do that as much as the best I can. Yes. Susie, is there any other question or? Uh... Yes. Uh, Dr. Jacob, uh, probably we will go around the same kind of questions just to get more information and updates on what sort of achievements we have made or you have made so far. So uh, I'm sure you have uh, put a great efforts toward the revival of the Aramaic Ashurite language and to promote the Assyrian cause nationally and internationally. What has been your biggest accomplishment so far? Well, <laughs> yeah. I have good news and bad news. <laughs> yep. So let's start with it. You know, a, a friend of mine just a week ago told me that he, uh, he wanted to try Google and he printed in, in Hebrew, uh, Ashur. Mm. And immediately he find my name. Mm. Okay. That's great. So, yes, so I can say uh, surely that uh, many, many people, every day it's becoming bigger and bigger. Uh, many, many people here getting to know that, you know, this is Ashur when we have Assyrians. And you know, some of them are calling me Yaakov Ashuri. <laughs> really? <laughs> really? Yaakov <laughs> Ashuri in Hebrew. Okay? So uh, this is the first step that we uh, need to take. And it's, you know, in general, it's, it's done. Okay? Uh, um, what I'm trying to do, you know, beside this, uh, I'm trying to record many, many Jewish Assyrians. You can see it in my uh, YouTube channel. It's called uh, 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 Jewish Assyrian in YouTube. And you can see so many uh, old Jewish Israeli speaking in Surit. This is a huge achievement, okay? And I posted it from time to time at the, uh, at, uh, the social media. The third is that uh, many key persons 
very influential in the uh, Israeli society are getting to know more and more about this idea of uh, the Assyrian embassy. But the problem is that since I declared um, to open this uh, embassy past almost one year and nothing physically uh, done yet. So uh, the next step is to work very hard on fundraising. And you know, in this uh, mission, I need you. <laughs> it is uh, pretty hard to, uh, you know, to raise money in Israel to an idea that aim to promote other nation uh, interest. Okay. Uh, so I need to to raise money to open if not a, a house, at least an um, office, to stick the two flags on the external wall and to say, we have a footstep in, uh, in, in Israel, okay? So um, some uh, other Assyrians like you are ready to help me. You know our uh, good friend, uh, Juliana Timoazi, that worked very hard in uh, North America in order to promote uh, the fundraising. We are speaking about uh, what we spoke already, in, uh, creating an international body of uh, Assyrian and Israelis um, uh, to raise money, to support the uh, um, uh, the idea of a Syrian embassy and to be like a um, um, universal uh, board of, uh, of this embassy. Uh, so this is the, the good news and the, the bad news. I, I hope we will overcome this, uh, this obstacle. Well, uh, I'm sure, I'm sure uh, a lot of uh, Assyrians has shown interest, a lot of interest in helping to accomplish uh, this embassy project once it's uh, lodged officially. And um, I've got a lot of friends from Europe, from everywhere. They were talking about, uh, you know, helping once it is ready. Uh, probably we have to uh, have an account and uh, have something official about it, then uh, I'm sure every Assyrian will try to help about uh, accomplishing this uh, project. Um, Dr. Yaku, um, let's go to other uh, important topics, which is the uh, state of Assyria. Uh, the Holocaust against uh, Jewish people showed that uh, Jewish uh, must have their own homeland the Jewish state has uh, succeeded in becoming not only a refuge for Jewish around the world, but uh, the only country in the Middle East where Christians can live in peace and practice their religion freely. Likewise, Assyrians also are a stateless nation due to constant uh, persecution, ethnic cleansing, and multiple genocide committed against them by the Kurds, uh, Iraq, uh, Turkey, and the Iranian regimes. Don't you think that uh, the establishment of an Assyrian state would be a great help to Israel and uh, would strengthen the peace process that Jewish state seeks to consolidate in the region to maintain its security? Well, I'm, complete, I'm completely sure because, uh, you know, we are sharing not only interests, here in the Middle East. We are sharing values, we are sharing history, and we are sharing future. We have so many in common that we must fulfill this trend, this energy together. I'm completely sure that uh, 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 Asho will be a, a democratic state 
and pluralistic state, and uh, it holds the same values that we have here in Israel. You had the opportunity to, to take a look what is mean a democratic uh, a state and democratic society in the Middle East. It is very rare in the Middle East. As a matter of fact, we have no any other democracy in in the Middle East. You know, it's 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 out of this uh, um, uh, region. So we need you for sure. Therefore, we have as uh, an Israeli um, or uh, as as a Jewish nation to support you in order to to let you build your country and your state. And I'm pretty sure that we would be um, the best allies forever in the Middle East. At Mabukaro Bukaranka, doctor, by an actual member of Hormas Hamdi Sura, Vilishano Atorias, a bit Larava, Giman at Chihelidi at Muhum Zimlani, and appreciate it, and in Kayut state of Assyria, Dilmara, and in Kayut of Ashur, and in Ketela, Shatasto Tama, and Sabab. ديلم <تصفيق> همزمي ومتي خيلا الله يقخيوت الآكرة وهي بشرحة الأرعاء من ديعة وفدية الوارع نجاوة سو أنا إلى حكمة مديانة أنا قايبين مديين نمومي دكتور ياقو مدوية لآيلة تخمت الدية وميت الدا إمباسي اللي إتوت دي الخمارة يعني شمة بتهاوة إمباسي قد هاو خشمة الشاشانة قد كل الدنيا هربية دنطا إلى خاميت الليشانة ومردوطة يعني كولتر وشمة وليشانة وإيتوتة وبتاوخة مخطوة بأرخ الدية دا إمباسي ماسي يوي وشكلي من رابا حكمه أطروات خينة ورابا قصة أطروات ماسي فيش دريشة وإيمان أودي تشتات ماسي تشيدي رابا جيبان بريشة بريشة تاما قد مضيه لقصة أطروات يعني خسن تربت هوا يقا لوبي وخيلا يا ولتا قصة آتوراية ميتة آها ستيت أوف آشور I believe you are understanding also what I'm saying دكتور ياكو yeah yeah so I'm just translating some of the you know conversation that we did had which is questions from Susie and Hermes to you so I try just to translate a few things actually in Assyrian شمانو برجانو مغبة أو أني دينا بكتاوة الكومنس في هيبي من قد هالا إطلان ختمو بقارخين البقرخ من دكتور مالاس إينا أكتي بين دكتور ياقو أنا بين أكتي أمرين since last time you were in Jerusalem okay how are you going with your context and how close you are working on this issue of Assyrian embassy and do you have a target when you reckon this dream will come true and it will be um, a great an opportunity for the Assyrians. But also, can I just add this to the second question? Um, are you are planning to have an international board with you and also advisors to advise you on so many different, uh, you know, uh, 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 subjects that you will have and also an international body also to have all these plans and running this uh, Assyrian embassy. Do you have in mind or, or can you tell us something about it or how it will be done? I'm not saying just to tell us everything, but just something for the listeners to know the plans and how it's going. Well, the Assyrian embassy is Assyrian. Yeah. It, sh it should reflect the Assyrian society. Okay. Okay. And I know the uh, you know the Assyrian uh, people is scattered all over the world, so it is 
extremely important to me to let uh, as much as we can communities, Assyrian communities of the world, to be involved in this project. Uh, one of the mechanism to do that is to create the international board. Mm -hmm. And in, hopefully this international board will include the different identities uh, of the Assyrian society, such as uh, different parties, different churches, different uh, NGOs, and so on. The meaning is to bring together as much as we can um, Assyrian uh, identities and to show off that we have at least one part in the world that could be a, a inclusive to these uh, different identities. This is very important to me and I'm keeping always saying that to every Assyrian. I work with every Assyrian for one central goal, re-establishing of the state of Assyria. And uh, this is a second uh, uh, privilege to me um, to show to the, to the Assyrian people, I know how many uh, conf confrontations you have in, you, in your society. Mm -hmm. So I like to, to, to make this uh, Assyrian embassy like a, a, a free zone. <laughs> mm -hmm. Okay? So this is a big idea to me. I, yeah. I hope I can contribute something to the in, in, internal uh, peace on the Israeli, um, on the Assyrian society. Okay, Susie, are you with us? Yes, I'm here. Right, yeah, okay. Coming out every now and again, but but did you did you hear did you hear my question to a doctor and his answer? Do you have anything to add to my question or please reply, please? At the moment, um, Dr. Yahoo, are you um, working with other people in Israel in relation to this embassy? Is there other people that are instrumental uh, with you in bringing this project about, at least in its initial stage? Well, uh, we have a new uh, government after three uh, um, elections that we have. <laughs> You know, it's it's funny. This is democracy, you know. Yeah. This is our democracy. <laughs> so finally, we have the government, and uh, I'm happy to announce that uh, I have some uh, new uh, member of Knesset in uh, in this Knesset in this uh, parliament, and we have uh, one minister in the Israeli government that. Is very very uh, uh, sympathetic to to your issue, to the Assyrian issue. Uh, I yet didn't use it, okay? But uh, they all know uh, my plan, and I'm waiting to the correct time to ask for them uh, their help, okay? Um, I had a plan to, you know, to bring you again to Israel uh, very fast because, because we have no time. This is democracy that, you know, the government could be uh, uh, um, uh, dismantled soon, okay? And then to make a, 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 a big meeting in the, uh, with, the, with this minister. And uh, the other is to create a, um, a lobby, the Assyrian lobby in the Knesset. You know, uh, we have so many lobbies in, in the Knesset, we need another one, um, you know, to promote uh, our thought. But again, the, the bad news, uh, dear Susie, is that, you know, I work for my living. I'm very busy to, to, to bring my income <laughs> to, to my home. So what I'm trying to, to do is, to work on, on between and to do it. And it, it, it's going forward, but very slowly, okay? 
Therefore, I need this power, I need this uh, uh, embassy uh, uh, to let me be free from my work and to work 100% for the Assyrian people. What do you expect Assyrians to do in this process? Yes, as I told before, first I need your uh, support, you know, by Zuse in, <laughs> in money, okay? Uh, we must raise money urgently to do even something small physically in Jerusalem, okay? It would be um, a big new news in the, in, the, in, in the Israeli society. Many people would ask, what does it mean, the Syrian embassy? And they will start to, to get interest in, in this idea. So what I need right now is money support. I'm sorry to tell it so clearly, but unless I have this, I mean, this support, I can't do many, many other big ideas that I have, okay? So I'm sorry to repeat again and again. <laughs> what Napoleon this is, Yeah. Yeah. But this Can is I the just, issue. Yeah. Can I just interfere and say something? Yeah. Well, uh, doctor, when you're talking about money, well, I agree because, look, from experience of 45 years working as volunteer uh, for the community, look, any activity, small activity we do, it costs us money. And if you don't have money, you can run your small activity for the organization and, of course, for the benefit of the Assyrian nation. So when you're talking about Assyrian embassy, it's a huge project. It's not an easy project. I've got a question from uh, a, a person from, I think he's from... Uh, Detroit, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, so you saying a question. Have you had any objections, you know, uh, or problems from any side? So you're saying, this is how it's written. It's saying, have you had any objection or any problems from any sides about this Assyrian project? Like, has anyone written to you or anyone objecting or anyone is saying? So really, if you, if you just keep in your mind this question, you yes. have this embassy, of course you need actually sponsors, you need a big budget, because it's not only opening the embassy, it's the running daily affairs of the embassy, you know, and the activities there, and your communication, and we've been in Jerusalem. Jerusalem is not easy, you know, it's a very expensive city, actually. So, you know, you need that fund, and that had to be funded, of course, by the community sponsors and people who have really uh, interest uh, by having this embassy and the benefit of embassy uh, to the Assyrian nation. Yes. Well, um, as to the objections, well, from the Israeli side, there is no any objection to that. I have only few um, Jews that uh, define themselves as Kurds. Very few, mm. very little. It's something that we, we don't have to spend energies on it. Yeah. They're trying to attack me and, uh, and so on. But in general speaking, I have no any objection in the Israeli society. Um, the opposite. I have many supporters for this idea. Mm. But At the uh, Assyrian side, some people are asking me, what is your interest to open this embassy? Do you have any hidden uh, uh, agenda? agenda? <laughs> you know, uh, and, and uh, it's funny, there are, few, there are also few, but you know, when I, when I have been uh, to Toronto, someone asked me, do you have any uh, idea to occupy, to reoccupy the Assyria? <laughs> Dr. Mao's, uh, I was shocked. 
that, that those sorts of sentiments come from thousands of years of many betrayals. And they, those sorts of reactions are not, are not, should not be taken offensively. They come from many, many years of experiences that have turned our people into um, skepticism. And that skepticism is good because if one could give them that comfort with proof, the proof is in the pudding, then they will be comforted. But please don't take those sorts of responses negatively. They are not meant to be personal. They come from, well, how do we know that Yahoo Maoz is genuine? We've had lords from the House of Lords telling us giving us more solid promises than this. We've had governments that have given us these sorts of assurances. Who's Yako Maoz? Why should we trust him? And I think these are challenges that you need to address because they are real in the minds of Assyrians who've had thousands of years of backlashes and betrayals. And I think We lost her again. Yeah. Every time when it's coming to very important question, but uh, I, I think uh, you knew the question, what was she yeah. was uh, saying. Yeah. yeah. Here, okay. here she is. Yes. Yeah. So the, you, you can accomplish your yeah. question. So it, it, it's, it's that. But what I want to know is how do, you, how do you propose to tackle that? How do you propose to give those people that comfort? that give them that reassurance that Yahoo Maoz is not the traitor that many Assyrians have had? Well, what I'm trying to do is not uh, to convince them, not only by words, uh, but by deeds. Hmm. Okay. There is a, a huge campaign that I'm running here in order to convince the Israelis uh, that their definition the identity definition is wrong, okay? And the collecting of, uh, of the videos and publishing them and to show off that I'm fighting the idea that we were wrong for 70 years in our definition. And you can see at the videos that people are fighting back with me, okay? Um, uh, and I love that are... concept, uh, Dr. Mowers. You, you, you must tell the audience again what happened in those 70 years and why did people like yourself suddenly come to this realization? Why not in the first 70 years? Why now? Okay, yes, can I just, it's good. Can I, before you go ahead, can I just say look, we have 10 minutes for this interview because I know we are taking time. From you, I know you're at work and you have given us actually an hour. So we are close actually to an hour, 10 minutes. So let us okay. just make it short on this because we have a few more questions. I'll possibly give you two minutes for this and then a okay. minute for Mr. Shaheen <laughs> and Susie and a minute for me and then back to you again. Go ahead. Now, why now, dear Susie? Because I found my real identity not long ago. And therefore, I have no time, but I must rush and to convince people here and there that this is genuine, this is real. But let me ask you a question and the, the whole uh, Assyrian audience. Okay, it is a hard question, Pahalta. <laughs> Where have you been for 70 years? Why shouldn't you approach to us and say, hey, here we are. We have something to do together. So it's a big miss. So we have a, a huge gap to bridge over it. But both of sides are taking the, um, uh, uh, the burden. Mr. Shaheen, you have something to say? Well, uh, we have a lot to say to doctor, but uh, because due to the time, I'll put uh, two questions in one. Uh, 
doctor, what role the Jewish Assyrian can play to bring alliance between Israel and Ashur? And also, what advice would you give to someone wanting to support the great work that you are doing? <laughs> well, uh, in my plan is to uh, open, um, I hope very soon, um, crowdfunding campaign in, um, globally. So I'm, I'm trying to work with the Americans on this idea. And um, it's likely that we will have at least um, a money support for the campaign. Because some, some, somebody, a professional, should run this campaign. I have not the power even to run this uh, uh, campaign. So uh, what I'm asking from uh, every Assyrian is to, when this campaign will uh, go at air, to support and to be positive and to, you know, to, to tell the, his or her friends that there is a move and this, this move should be uh, supported by as many Assyrians as, as we can. It's, it is not only money, because once you put even one dollar, this is a dec declaration that I am becoming a supporter of the Assyrian embassy in Jerusalem. Okay? Yes, please. Thank you. Uh, Susie, do you have anything else to add? Well, time is very short, so um, I think we're going to have to have Dr. Mowers back again because yeah, there's so sure. much more to discuss. Um, but I'm not going to I'm not going to impose on the time now. Um, I I just obviously feel that there's a lot of work to be done in fine tuning the. Um, process of the Assyrian embassy, and that would involve the budget aspect, the financial aspect, as well as the legal aspect and the operational aspect. And I'm sure that there are discussions being done by you at your end with all your learned colleagues. Um, obviously, Assyrians would like to have a role to play within that, as you've confirmed they will. And I think that's a discussion that has to be held at a later time, probably outside of this radio program but it's very this this Assyrian embassy is very very close to Assyrian heart and we need to work on it together in unity to bring it about I am uh, Rabbi David how about the Iranians you you had a question uh, about okay. the Iranians yeah well uh, <laughs> let us actually this subject it's very important let me just um, yeah um, let me say this I am in favor of the Assyrian embassy. We will support, we'll do our best, and we have to lobby worldwide, and this is our dream, and we have to try. Why? Because really we need countries and governments to recognize the Assyrian question, Ashur, and we have to work hard, and I believe this dream will come true, but needs time, money, efforts, non-stop lobbying and i believe right. that we have a friend like you there and we will do our best to get that support until this embassy uh, opens in jerusalem and we will be the first to be there in jerusalem to meet you in official open <laughs> let me just go today i was hearing a, a, a report that was from france actually uh, on sbs uh, a report, actually, it was about Iran, you know, uh, creating the, um, uh, you know, this uh, um, Islamic movement and the Islamic fundamental, you know, into the neighboring countries like um, Lebanon, Yemen, which is Iraq. We can see the influence and the problem that are actually, uh, you know, that are facing the uh, Iraq government there because of Iran. Uh, and I believe they are mentioning again, um, the, you know, the enemy, America and Israel. How is the security now in, within your border? You know, like you have Hezbollah, 
border actually in Lebanon and you know the Syria problem and also Yemen you know Saudi Arabia and you know the problem of Iraq so usually when there is a problem there it does affect actually the state of Israel how is the situation in Israel in regarding the Iranian move always anti American anti Israel sure well we have a mini war in in Israel you can't see it uh, physically because uh, most of it is uh, through uh, Israeli air forces. Mm. We are surrounded by uh, Iranian proxies in Syria. We have many uh, Iranian militias in Syria. We have Hezbollah in uh, Lebanon. We have Hamas in Gaza Strip. Mm. It's not easy, but we have a, a daily war and, you know, every night there is clashes between Israelis and um, uh, Iranian proxies. But unless we would uh, take those um, uh, security measures, they would sit on the border, you know, and they will uh, attack us, um, no problem, um, um, you know, um, the Iranian um, are declaring every day that the uh, project is to eliminate Israel, not less. Okay. Okay. So we we have to preserve our uh, borders. Okay, doctor. But can I just interfere again and say because sometimes Iran declares and it says that they have representative for the Jewish community in Iran and they have representative, of course, for the Christians there as Syrians, and they have for other minorities. But uh, if they're giving the rights of the community Jewish and recognize them as a Jewish there, but in the meantime, also giving a statement, they need to destroy or just off-plan the Israeli state. So there's a contradiction, you know, between uh, what they are saying there and what they are acting, actually, in politics. Well, this is a nasty game, <laughs> okay? Um, uh, you know how many Jews they ha have been killed in Iran, you know, in the last decade? They say that they, gave the, they are giving the rights to the Jewish community, okay? But this is a big lie, okay? What is bothering me is not Ir Iran, okay? We know what is Iran. What is bothering me that some of the uh, Western uh, states believe them. Mm. And some of them has uh, many, many in interest in Iran, so they are supporting Iran against us, okay? You can see uh, Russia, okay? You can see uh, uh, France and, uh, and other states. So uh, the, uh, the battlefield is not only in the Middle East, it is in the Western world, okay? Mm -hmm. So therefore, we need allies like you, <laughs> that you live in the Western world and you can help us, you know, reshaping the uh, general uh, public opinion. Mr. Shaheen, do you have any other question? In well, uh, not really, but uh, talking about Iran, doctor, you used to have before the collapse of uh, Shah uh, time uh, kingdom, uh, we used to have about 150,000, maybe over Assyrians in Iran. Right now we are talking about maybe 10, maybe less than 10,000 Assyrians left. So uh, it's almost the same thing for, uh, for the Assyrians and other Christians. Um, they cannot uh, have peace in that country. Yeah. But, yeah. Uh, yeah. well, uh, uh, David, I think uh, we are running out of time. I just wanna thank uh, Doctor again for his hard work and uh, wish you success. And hopefully Doctor, we can, uh, we will have a privilege uh, to see you as our guest in Australia once this uh, epidemic is over. 
Uh, we were supposed to see you during the Assyria New Year, and then we decided to have you during Assyria Day. But uh, unfortunately, the situation is not helpful. So hopefully, uh, we can organize something different uh, once this uh, uh, epidemic is over and see you in uh, this country. Yeah. Uh, Susie, can you yeah. say a few words uh, just to... I just want to say thank you. As I said, these um, speaking to you is, um, is is really really delightful. But there is so much more that I'm sure myself and other listeners would love to know more about you. And um, and hopefully we'll see you on future programs and more regularly through <laughs> King David. <Yeah. laughs> we will have to organize them all. Yeah, well. <laughs> Yeah. Sure, sure. We, we trust the uh, My best David. regards to the family. And uh, again, even though we were there for such a short time, uh, really, we felt like we were given the best hospitality. And among everyone that we met, we felt that we made brothers and sisters and cousins and, and family that we still keep in touch with. Thank you so much. Yeah. Well, I should thank you, the, the three of you. You. It is a um, great honor to be with you and to discuss with you such important uh, uh, issues. <clears throat> so uh, hopefully we will uh, see each other very soon and we will keep in touch uh, every day. It is, uh, um, I love it. I love this connection with you. Okay. Thank you. And well, let me find, uh, let me uh, <laughs> find with the expression, hi Asho. And Chaya Israel. Doctor, let me let me just take also this opportunity to say a few words. But let me say in Assyrian first, let the Assyrian people also to know. Perjane o shaman mughbe et khurset qalat khuyada. Akhbadayatun wa arkhat iqara minini wa Doctor Yaqo min Orishlum atrat Israel. وهذه يدنا دقيقة خارية ميقرأ هرمز شاهين أخلطنا الرازق في هذه الفيولات رأي بطيانا المنتا منه الداهة فقتا والدن بقار ولن جواب يوالي وهربينا انت ضانا يوالي قدياني ادويلة خايا هالشاهيد يعني اللايف والخد فيسبوك منيني الداهة خرزة خاتن سوزي داي بجي هرها دختين ضد منتا وإي بلدو تتلم فقتا بيو أخبو إقارة دي لمغزية قدياني بزوتا يو بيتوت ديانة من كل كل فتة وعلي لطي أنتت منتا أوباين منه إلداها تفقت ولدنا هم سمياته وأوباين أبين شقناها فرصت ودن تنتت منتا رابو جرطا من دكتر ياكو قد يو مرت القديو والعمخ بله ويو شو ليلش قالي لدانا بأرخد داها زوم فيسبوك مصاي وخاوخ لايف من نوكم بقارة بقريلان بزودة يوصير بدا السيرين امبسيو ان قايوت الديو اتاتيا الاتوتا من دي دتري ايوا خابو قارة همزون الغباس الدار ديمقراطيوتا وعزاتوتا ورهاتوتا اتاخستيتو في ازرائيل دي لفش تخرديتا بتخمنيات درقلاي باقورة وخ مرا اها ليش اليا هلا اتيا اتي خكمة اطرواتي خكمة تخمنيات ديمقراطية اخ اطوراي هاوي شواوي التخمنتي هو يبرشتم دان التخمنيات الفنادقائية بهيوي وين قد تايلان فقيات خينة من الدكتور اضمضي لهم بزودة و process دي بي اسريان امبسي اكما بشخي للقامة بتمضي لهم من دانا لدانا همونة متعوخ و بين مضيين جي قد بحاوتم باسيمة اني كومنت كل الكومنت التيلو اي ورابا بوزيتف رابا سودانة باسيمة طنان من تيمن انا اغ ديفيد من جيبة أخوني ميقرا هرمس وسوزي ديفيد أخ ومرخطان دخورزة قالة خيادة ينطد من ترابا يورتا من كل الشمانة وفرجانة والكتويات باسيمة وإقارة مغزوية تنقى دكتور ياقو دكتور ياقو on behalf of the AUA radio program قالة خيادة I would like to thank you once again it was great to have you on our show and we are really honored uh, always to have you on our uh, radio program. Um, and uh, I think it was a wonderful interview, very, very nicely. We had a chance actually to ask questions and you answered 
and hopefully we will be always there for you to support you in this mission of a Syrian embassy. And we have to pray, but also work hard. Uh, at the end, I will say, um, um, say a few words in Lishana Atariah, if you don't mind, you call it Lishan Surat. Can you say a few words? Uh, <laughs> Yeah, I am going to be a friend of friendship. Yeah, I am going to be a friend of the friendship. I am going to be a friend of the friendship. I, I, I should thank you. <laughs> so you know, you. It, it, yeah, it's yeah, so you know, difficult. I, I, yeah, I like your I, I like your shirt, the Assyrian and the yes. Jewish flag. <laughs> and I think that was present from Rimon, was it? Or or is it the right? One? Right. Yes. This is a present yeah. of Rimon uh, Lazar that uh, he printed. Uh, I think uh, th uh, thirty pieces in Australia yeah. And, yeah. and brought it uh, with him uh, yeah. to us and as, as you can say I use it uh, I many people yeah. are as, many yeah. people are asking me what these flags mean yeah. okay yeah. so it's a good I opportunity to tell them yeah but what's the, that that flag behind you there there is another flag I can see behind you just on the this is it this yeah. one <laughs> yeah <laughs> 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 I like that too. <laughs> yes, yes. Well, you know, yeah. it, 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 this is in my living room, and every every uh, body that uh, visiting me, asking, and this is uh, an opportunity to to open a discussion about a new yeah. idea. Okay. Doctor Shlame, Patrulla Nashididen. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, Avitun, 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 Basi Maraba, Doctor Khatan Susi, Upati Hoyat Raba Basim Tataman, Mintevat Minokon, Horan Hormus, Achi, but Metin Khazmerta, or Katharta Parkahle, for Zabi Hakman Zimiati, in a Yako, thank you. Hatan Susi at Basim Taraba. Thanks a lot. Hatan Basim Raba. God bless. Push him share. God bless you. Bye bye. Shalom. Bye bye. Shalom. Shalom. Yeah.